Hello everyone and welcome back to the SMJ Tech channel and today we'll be learning about an interesting small feature in Word that's how to capitalize the first letter of, uh, of your paragraph. You can see uh, that what I'm talking about, this is basically, I, if, I, if you notice that a lot of paragraphs have a very large alphabet at their beginning and it's spread across two to three lines uh, of the paragraph. So today we learn how we can do this. So let me just go over to a paragraph that doesn't have uh, main lines. Okay, let's let me choose this one. Let's say I select this one, the, the alphabet A. So one important note to uh, to notice is that whether whichever alphabet you want to enlarge, you just have to click the uh, click the cursor right before it then we'll head over to the insert tab and on the way over here at the right and we have a text section and in this text section you can see a drop cap option drop cap is basically uh, it it creates a large capital number uh, capital letter for you at the beginning of the paragraph so if i select this drop down by default, it's selected at none, and uh, I have two options, dropped and in margin. So if I select drop, you can see as soon as I hover over it, it enlarges the alphabet A and spreads it across three lines. Now by default, this, uh, this is spread across three lines. So let me show you what other option we have, and then we'll see how we can uh, change that. Second option is the in margin. So what this does is basically that it keeps the text of your paragraph within the margin and takes the larger alphabet outside of the margins that have been defined for your document. So these are two options available in it. Now how we can change this is basically I'll have you the drop cap options. Over here you can see that I have the two options available. I will select, let's say, dropped option over here. And from the font, I can also change the type of font that uh, I want to select for this uh, for this alphabet. So basically, uh, let me just choose one. So it looks different from the rest of the, if I want to look different from the rest of the document. I'll select, for example, this font, and I let's say I want to reduce it to uh, two lines instead of three lines, and I'll keep it a bit of distance from the rest of the of the text. So let me just select OK, and you can see that immediately it differentiates from the rest of the text that's written there, and then uh, it's also a slightly far from the rest of the text. If I reduce it, you can see it will move closer. So this was uh, the dropped one. And let us now do the same thing and try what options do we have if for in margin. It has the same options. I can change the font. I can choose the lines. I can increase it to five lines, let's say. And I can also choose the distance between the text and the alphabet so you can see it has changed it drastically because that's what i selected and it has also moved it a little bit uh, far from the text so this was uh, today's session guys so you can learn about enlarging a particular alphabet in the beginning of a paragraph to make it you know look different from the rest of the document so the reader can immediately identify that this is something uh, new starting so it's a way of representing your your content how you want to show it mostly if you've noticed uh, such things are used by biographies or you know uh, any novels that you might read they usually start off with a large letter and then the rest of the content follows so this was uh, today's video for that we learned about drop cap feature in ms word i hope you like this video and 
please keep subscribed to keep learning new features until our next video please take care of yourselves and allow us